everyone i'm back with another video and in today's video we have a dell precision laptop the exact model for this one is a dell precision 5530 model this cpu is a xeon e2176 model but in in this video i'm going to take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can remove or replace the battery on your laptop this applies for any precision 5500 5000 series so it's pretty much the same so you can do this video under five minutes it's really easy and at the end of the video i will give you a tip how to keep your new battery on a top performance shape possible and you should do that once every couple of months to keep the health of the battery at its best performance state all right by upgrading i mean by replacing your battery you're not changing any configuration anything like that everything will be the same as you left before so don't worry about doing any extra configuration in the window. So pretty much you have to turn off completely the laptop, power it off, grab yourself a good screwdriver set. I would recommend you guys to use the iFix screwdriver set as they have one of the best screwdrivers out there. I'll leave the link in the video description in case you wanna purchase yours. So I purchased the basic set for myself. We're gonna be using a Phillips number one and a torque number five. All right, from this, so once we use this one, we're gonna use a torque number five. And on the bottom here, we're gonna see a whole bunch of screws all around the laptop. We're gonna remove all of them with a torque number five. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. So pretty much you have to remove and keep them in one single pile. They're all the same. So also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out through your own upgrades and servicing. You can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in a comment area. I appreciate that. All right, once we remove all the screws around, the two hidden screws are Phillips number one. You wanna put your fingers on this cover and lift it up, and you're gonna see two screws exposed right here. Remove these two screws. These are really long screws compared to the other ones. These are the same, both of them are the same. So remove these two, put your finger in there to pick up the screw. All right there. Now the removing the bottom cover is really easy. You want to put your finger right on the under this cover here, and then put the other one and press on the hinge and lift it up just like that and bring it upward. All right, and right away we can see the battery right in here. This is a 56 watt hour battery. Let me see the more info, 11.4 volt, uh, made in China, 11.4 volt. And the model, it is really small in here. It says H5H20. So I tried to get the link for this one and I'll leave it in the video description for you guys to purchase. So we're gonna use Phillips number one. We're gonna remove one, two, three, four screws that touches the battery. So remove the four Screws, all the screws again are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them and keep them in a separate pile. I'll put it right here on the tray. All right, once you removed it, now you can lift up the battery, put it to an offset position like this, and now you want to pull this jack right here. I'll put my fingers on the side of the jack. You want to pull it back evenly. So you want to bring it like this, wiggle it around. Don't pull it sideways, otherwise, you're going to bend the pins inside. So that's how you can remove the battery. This is a one, two, three cell battery. So uh, you can see it on the cable here. There's a three, one, two, three, four. There's a four configuration cell. So they might have a stacked in battery that is stacked up. So one, two, three, four. Where the, I don't know how they have the configuration in here, but it's pretty light. It's not heavy like the other ones that they'll make so i haven't found out any extra capacity batteries but they might come up in the future with a higher capacity this is a 56 watt hour if i find a higher capacity again i'll link it let's imagine that you got the new battery in you want to make sure the connector the red is facing towards the left and the black cables towards the right you want to align the connector right inside the jack make sure you push it in evenly and then you just want to pinch it right in there. And then you want to grab the battery and you want to align the screw holes. Make sure they're nice and snugly right there. And then you want to put the four screws that you remove for the battery. 
You don't need to go crazy tightening up these screws. Just reach it and do like a half a turn and you're done. You don't need to go crazy. All right, once you put the screws for the battery in, now what you want to do, you want to grab the bottom cover, bring it over, align it straight, put it right there. And then first you want, you already have the Phillips because we put the battery screws. You want to put the two screws down here in the middle. And we're going to switch to a torque number five. And we're going to start from one corner and we're going to put the rest of the screws right in here. All right. Just remember once you put the new battery on the laptop, you do not want to power on the laptop right away. You want to leave it off. You want to connect the charger and leave it charging at least for four to five hours without powering it on. After four to five hours, you want to power on the laptop without the charger plugged in and bring down the brightness of the screen and to down to 50 or 20 percent, whatever lowest you can go. Not lowest, I'll say 30 percent, so you can see something at least. And then you want to drain the battery slowly with the brightness down, put some YouTube videos, don't put any heavy load or anything like that, so you can drain the battery slowly. Once the battery is drained down to 30, 20 percent, then you want to power up the laptop. When it's off, you want to plug in the charger and you want to let it charge again for four to five hours. After four to five hours, then you can just power it on while it's connected and charge it as you wish. and whenever it's convenient for you. You can do this discharge and charging once every couple of months to keep the health of the battery at its best performance state. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. I'll power on the laptop so you guys can see that it powers on. So I see the backlight is turning on. I can press F2 to go to the BIOS and in the BIOS you can click on the battery information and it will tell you battery health is excellent. So that's where you can check check the health of the battery inside the BIOS. You power on, you start tapping on F2. And that's it for today's video.